So in this section, I want to talk about a Packer. So what is a Packer? Packer is an open source tool for creating identical machine images for multiple platforms from a single source configuration. So what is a machine image? A machine image is a single static unit that contains a pre-configured operating system and installed software which is used to quickly create new running machines. So machine images formats change for each platform. For example, if you, if you use AWS, you will use AMI for EC2 instance. AMI is uh, stand for Amazon Machine Image. And if you use VMware, you will find the machine image name is called VMDK or VMX. And if you use VirtualBox, you will find the machine image name is called OVF. So this is the official uh, web page of a Packer. And the Packer also a product produced by HashiCrop. The same with Terraform. Okay, so what's the benefit of using Packer? Packer is a common light tool that can build AWS AMIs based on templates. Instead of installing the software after booting up the, the instance, you can create an AMI with all the necessary software on it. This can speed up boot times of instance. It's a common approach when you run a horizontally scaled app layer or a, cl or a cluster of something. So next, uh, let me show you how to install Packer and use Packer. Let's go to the official web page of Packer. And first, we should download it. So we can click the download button right here. And this will navigate you to the download page. For my operating system, microOS fit me. So I can click download here. And uh, I can save it in a place. But um, since I use the DEV environment, so I can right click my mouse and copy the link address and then go to uh, the terminal. Um, we can change a tab. Yeah, in this terminal, go backward. I wanted to. I wanted to download the the packer and put it under the ad directory. So I use the wget command and paste the the address of a packer. I just copied. Click enter. You will see that uh, download uh, processing is begin. We need some time to finish downloading. So after it finish, I will go back. Okay, so uh, next uh, I can unzip this uh, downloaded file. Packer, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we have a command called Packer. Next, uh, I want to add this packer command to the command path. So I will um, copy it packer to user bin, right? Okay. So next, uh, uh, I can execute the packer command in uh, whatever uh, path I wish. You can see, yeah, no problem. So next, uh, I want uh, to uh, lead you go through these files. So the entry point will be the build and the launch dot ssh. This is a shell script as you can see. Here we use the command packer build we just installed, and this command will help help us building the machine image. And you can see here we uh, we have parameter. This parameter um refer to a file called packer example dot json. And uh, in this file, we define what kind of uh, uh, machine image I, I want to build. So let's open this file. So as you can see, the file is here. And this form, this is a JSON format file. And inside this file, I give several uh, parameters. 
and using these parameters to tell Packer what kind of image I want to build. So as you can see, I can specify region, I can specify the source AMI, and I can specify instant type extra. So um, let's go back to the shell script. And after running this command, I will have a variable called artifact. And then I use the artifact. As you can see, I run another Linux command. And uh, this uh, command will return a value. And uh, I assign this value to the variable AMI ID. Next, as you can see here, uh, we create a new file called amivars.tf. And uh, this file will contain uh, content like this. Okay, so in this file, we define a variable called AMI ID. And then I use telephone commands to init and apply these changes. So once we have this uh, AMI ID, then in the instance.tf, I can use it. Then I will uh, execute the Terraform init and apply to create an EC2 instance for me. And uh, last, lastly, I want to introduce you how to find uh, the AMI. So actually, um, there is a web page called uh, cloudimageubuntu.com. And uh, in this web page, we, uh, we can find the Amazon EC2 AMI uh, I want to use. And uh, be careful, this is just the Ubuntu AMI. And if you want to find, uh, for example, CentOS or other Linux release version, you need to find it by yourself. But here I'm going to use Ubuntu, so I can use this web page. And uh, you can uh, search by region, or you can search by the uh, uh, operating system version. Uh, for example, in our case, I want to search. Uh, I want to search um, the uh, AMI locate in EU West One. So I can open this page and uh, paste it here, and you can see the zone is EU West One, and I can choose the version I want to use. So here I'm gonna choose the eighteen. Uh, 04 so uh, the MI uh, should be this one and uh, that's it so next uh, let's build this MI and uh, uh, running and creating an EC2 instance based on that EMI I just created so I can uh, execute the shell script click enter it will need some time to finish, so I will pause the video, and when it finish, um, I will go back. Okay, guys, as you can see, now we enter the step of uh, apply, right? But before we apply these changes, I want to show you the newly created AMI wars.tf. So uh, first, uh, let's synchronize the remote to local. And now you can see we have a file called uh, amiwars.tf, right? And if we uh, look at the content inside of it, you can see that uh, uh, actually this is the definition of a variable. Next, uh, we can use this AMI ID variable in the instance.tf, right? So, okay, next uh, I can type yes and uh, click enter button to apply these changes. Also, it will need some time to finish, so I will go back when it finishes. So as you, guys can, uh, as you guys can see, we have finished the applying, right? And uh, we can verify by looking at uh, the terminal console. So you can see in this interface, we have a um, running EC2 instance. This in instance is what we just uh, created. Now I can log into this instance and verify if this instance, uh, if this uh, running instance has a pre-installed uh, this software okay so first I should change the permission of my uh, private key and I can use ssh dash i my key ubuntu and uh, it's public IP address it should be this one and click enter
Okay, so first uh, let's verify if uh, this machine has already installed Nginx. So I can use localhost. Yeah, no problem. And uh, I can check if it, if it uh, pre installed Docker. So Docker. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I think that's enough. And in this course, I show you how to download the Packer and use Packer command to build a custom Amazon machine image. So let's see you in the next section. Bye.